I'm Mike from Cinti Studios. In this guide, you're going to learn how easy it is to start your game project. We're going to use our new free Polygon Starter Pack. Let's start by creating a new Unity project using the Unity Hub. We're going to use 2018.4 for this guide. Let's stick to a standard 3D project and call it whatever you want. We now have a blank project. We need to bring in our assets from the asset store. This is easy. We just need to open up the asset store tab from the windows option. Once this is loaded, search for polygon starter pack, then import it into your project. We then need to bring in the Unity Standard Assets package. This can be found on the Asset Store by searching Standard Assets. Once this has been brought in, we're ready to go. You should now have a blank scene in front of you, and a project that includes both the starter pack and the free standard assets. First things first, let's open up the Polygon Starter Pack demo scene. The default Unity camera movements are super simple. Hold down right click to rotate the camera in the scene view, Use WASD if you want to move around the scene, very much like popular first person shooters on PC. Let's get one of our polygon characters moving around the scene. We need to navigate to the third person character folder within the standard assets. There's a handy little guide here to help you if you get stuck, but we're going to cover it anyway. In the prefabs folder, you'll see the third person controller. We don't want to use the AI third person controller, just the regular one will do. Drag it into your scene hierarchy. Now, expand out the third person controller. You'll see a bunch of nodes. Select the Ethan body and Ethan glasses. Then we head up to the top right of the screen and we untick the little option box next to the blue square. This will hide them in the scene. We then bring in our polygon character. You need to navigate to the prefabs folder and find the characters in the character folder. You can choose either a male or female basic avatar. Drag your chosen character underneath the third person character controller in the hierarchy. Now let's swap the character avatar. All we have to do is select the third person controller top node, then head over to the inspector. In the avatar slot, let's pick characters avatar. Just double check the location of it and make sure that it matches this. Now press play. You should be able to see your character running around in the game view but our camera isn't set up for our character, so he's off in the distance. Let's add one of the cameras included with the free standard assets. Navigate to the cameras folder within the standard assets. Then in the prefab folder, you'll find the free look camera controller. Simply drag this into the empty space in your scene hierarchy. You'll notice the camera is not in the greatest position by default. If you switch to the game tab, you can actually see through the camera and what it's gonna be like when we press play. With the free look camera node selected, we can use the Unity manipulators to move our camera around the scene. It doesn't need to be perfect because when the character starts animating, it's gonna change anyway. Now, all we need to do is we need to set up the target for the camera so that it follows our character. Simply drag the third person character controller onto the target slot in the camera rig. You may notice that when you press play, it's still displaying through the old camera. We should remove any old cameras from the scene so they don't conflict. Now when you press play, everything should work. Using standard PC controls, you should be able to navigate around the scene. The included demo scene with this pack is only a small sample of what we have on offer. I would recommend having a play around with some of the assets included and try out your own designs. We really hope you enjoyed this video. We created the Polygon Starter Pack to be an ideal first asset. We have tons more in the Polygon series, including Polygon Prototype, which works fantastically with the starter pack. We have a ton of polygon packs that work seamlessly together. It's easy to change your world depending on your favorite setting. Our polygon assets make creating games fun. If you would like to see more of these tutorial videos, please subscribe.